I mean, this is optic we're talking about. You know, they're they're supposed to beat these teams, right? They're undefeated, I think, against teams not in the top four. It's something crazy like that, where they're beating all the teams that they're supposed to beat, right? The teams that are the bottom feeders of the league, but they just can't seem to get anything going. First to faces, first to Toronto's, first to NYSL. Mm -hmm. so like, it can be close sometimes, obviously not with face, but I'll use that as an outlier with the other two uh, top teams. They just can't do it. They like can't get over the hump. I don't know if it's a mental block or what. Maybe things will change going to land, but I think they're there. They're just a tier below the top teams right now. I mean, I agree with Ian. They're a tier below the top teams, and I have to believe that it's a mental block, though. It has because we be. see other teams play the, top, the teams that are ahead of Optic a lot closer than we see Optic play them if that makes sense but then optic goes off and just beats these other teams it's got to be a confidence thing heading into the series like a true confidence thing anyone can say that they believe they're gonna win but do they actually feel like they're gonna win i'm just not sure of it because optic i mean optic is good mm -hmm. at this point in the game optic is a good team there i would take them against most of the field in a match right now they're a really good team but when it comes to winning i don't think there's a chance that they actually win the championship. I just don't, even, it's like, they're super outside of that for me. So I don't know what to really believe about them because because they're a tier below and seem to have some sort of mental block against the top teams. It just puts them at a place where I don't view them as a championship team, but a really good team nonetheless. How do teams or maybe players individually perhaps overcome something like that? Like, have you seen that before where someone successfully is able to kind of overcome a mental block per se, because that's kind of a nebulous concept, right? It's hard to like nail down into something specific. Have you seen people overcome something like that? And if so, how how would Optic go about doing that? I mean, this is gonna sound stupid, but they just have to do it. It's tough because mental blocks are a real thing, especially in professional Call of Duty. And I mean, I'm sure it's happened in the past, but I can't, I don't know if John can, I can't think or remember anything specifically, but they just need to be able to to take a series off these guys and not even just like i mean at, at this point you probably even if you scrape by you know you and you win but you want a nice dominant victory over one of these top teams just so everyone is like you know what we can do this because even if they're not their competitors they're not going to tell you we have a mental block but it's clearly got to be there if they can't do it and so if you can get a nice solid win i think we could see optic really breaking that top tier and then being like a legitimate contender for the rest of the year. Yeah, I can't really think of any teams or any people actively getting over a mental block, but I'm like Ian said, it had to have happened at some point. Maybe the most recent thing I can think of is possibly someone like Selium. I don't know if you remember, but when Selium first played on land against Optic mm -hmm. specifically, he got dumpstered. He had like one of the worst professional series of all time. Yeah, like the one of the worst ever. And that was Lan, and that's like the whole crowd going against him. And he's a kid, and blah blah blah. And all his teammates are like, "This guy's disgusting." Like I, I've seen him do ridiculous things. And then he goes on and gets more experience under his belt, and gets over that. And he starts, and he becomes one of the better respawn players in Black Ops Four towards the end. And it's maybe it's something like that where, like Ian said, he just had to do it. Like he had to believe that he could beat a top team. They would get those. But back then, they obviously, we were in the studio in Columbus. Mm -hmm. He got to play more top teams on land, maybe not in a tournament environment, but at least he was playing them on land so he could see like, oh, I'm better than this guy. I'm better than this guy. I'm better than this guy. And then he can get over it. And so, like Ian said, I guess the only way, real way to get over mental block is to do it, is to right. put in the reps. Because there's no mental ninjutsu that you can do. <laughs> once it comes down to playing, it's like, I don't know. You just have to do it. It's rough.